Hello there, my name is Richard McMahon from the interview training company PassMyInterview.com and in this tutorial I'm going to help you to pass your warehouse operative interview. So it does not matter which organization you have your interview with to be a warehouse operative, this tutorial is going to help you to pass. And in particular I'm going to cover a number of interview questions and more importantly high scoring answers. So please do stick around. Now before I get into those tips and the all important interview questions and answers, a very warm welcome to my training tutorial. My name is Richard McMahon. I'm a former fire officer and now I've been helping people for almost 20 years to pass their interviews. And I do that by giving you top scoring answers that you can't find anywhere else online. So please do make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button below the video. And I would also very much appreciate it if you gave the video a like. Thank you. Now, before I get into those questions and answers, we need to make sure that you demonstrate the following skills and attributes during your warehouse operative interview. This is how you pass the interview. You demonstrate the following skills and attributes. First of all, that you are somebody who can work hard as part of a team to achieve multiple tasks. Because as a warehouse operative, you'll be doing lots of different tasks on a daily basis. Number two, you have to demonstrate strong attention to detail skills and also have a desire to carry out your duties accurately, honestly and professionally because you can't make many mistakes whilst working as a warehouse operative. Either when you're taking stock in or you are sending goods out, you have to be accurate. That's very important. Number three, you also have to be able to work alone, unsupervised at all times and also be trusted to carry out your work whilst adhering to safety rules and regulations. And finally, number five, be capable, of course, of providing excellent customer service and also having a flexible and adaptable approach to your work. Now, the warehouse operative interview questions and answers that are following right now encompass all of these and others important skills and attributes. So the answers that I've created and put together for you are designed to give you the highest scores possible. So let's get straight into it. Question number one. Why do you want to become a warehouse operative? Why do you want this job? Here's my sample answer. I want to become a warehouse operative for three main reasons. Firstly, it is a job whereby I need to be both physically and mentally active. This is important to me because I will get to put multiple skills to good use. Secondly, I do prefer to work in a team environment whereby everyone is working towards the same end goal, which is providing excellent customer service. Now, whilst working as a team, it's important everyone pulls together and more importantly, carries out their specific job with professionalism and accuracy. Finally, working as a warehouse operative, it's appealing to me because with the growth of the online market, there will always be work for me, providing I carry out my duties professionally and to a high standard. So those basically are the three main reasons why I want to become a warehouse operative. And if you use those three reasons, it'll be very easy for you to remember them when you go along to your interview. Now, you can either take notes as I progress, or if you stick around and watch it from beginning to end, I'll tell you where you can download these and other warehouse operative interview and quest interview questions and answers very soon. Second question of your warehouse operative interview. What skills, qualities and attributes do you possess that will help you to become a warehouse operative? So this is a clever question because it's assessing your knowledge and understanding of the job description to see whether you've, whether you've read it and also to see whether your own skills and qualities are in line with that document. So here's my pre-planned answer for you. The key skills and attributes I possess are an ability to work both alone, unsupervised and also as part of a team. I also have strong attention to detail qualities, which means I will not make mistakes often. Other skills include an ability to follow rules and procedures and function in line with relevant safety standards. A positive attitude to my work, a willingness to be flexible and help out with additional duties and shifts if needed, and also an ability to learn the role quickly so I can then basically start contributing towards a team in the fastest time possible. Finally, I'm also someone who takes pride in their work and feel I will be viewed as someone who not only does a good job for the team, but also someone who is honest, trustworthy, and can be relied upon to work to high standards at all times. So you can see there, being able to follow rules is very important, working in that kind of environment, because it, sometimes it's dangerous working in a warehouse. You have to follow safety standards. You obviously have to have a positive attitude, 
a willingness to be flexible and also learn the role quickly. So you can then start contributing quickly to the team. Let's have a look at another question. Why have you chosen our company to work for as a warehouse operative? What are the reasons why you want to work for them? Now, most people will not do any research into the company they are applying for with this particular role. But you need to give reasons why you want to work for them as a warehouse operative. So if I was to say to you, why do you want to work for that company? What has attracted you to them? Could you answer it? Well, here's my suggested answer for you to use. I've chosen your company for two main reasons. The first reason is that you are renowned within the local area as being a good employer to work for. Now, those people who've worked for you previously have all said good things about you, which makes you attractive as an employer. Job satisfaction is very important to me, and I want to work for a company who looks after its employees and gives them the opportunity to grow and develop within the role. Finally, during my research, I found out a bit about your future plans, and you're clearly a company who is going places and you are growing fast. So that means if I perform my work as a warehouse operative to the necessary standards and my team leader is happy with my performance, I will have employment with you for a long period of time. Now, this is something that's important to me as I plan to stay with you for many years to come. So that shows that you've got two main reasons why you want to work for them, that they've got a good reputation and you can also thrive within the role and provided you do a good job, you can work with them for a long period of time, which you're saying you want to, which is attractive to any employer. Now, I've got two more questions to go through, so do stick around. However, there is a link that's appeared right there in the top right-hand corner of the video. If you click that, it will take you through to my website, passmyinterview.com, where you can download 25 warehouse operative interview questions and answers to make sure you pass your interview. Let's move on to those next questions. When have you delivered excellent customer service? So obviously, any kind of organization where you are working as a warehouse operative will have set standards in respect of customer service. And customer service runs right through an organization from those people who are either working on checkouts to those people who are answering customer service queries, even down to the warehouse operatives because you have to demonstrate good customer service skills, work quickly and accurately, and like I say, provide excellent customer service. So here is a suggested answer. Now, this is based on someone who has experience of working before and providing good customer service. I will also tell you at the end of this answer how you can answer it if you've never worked in customer service before and you have no prior experience. So let's have a look at the answer for someone who's got some previous experience and they're going to give a specific example. Here we go. I was working for a company as a call handler taking customer orders and also answering queries relating to products that we sold. Now one particular call comes to mind whereby a customer was clearly struggling placing an order online using their credit card. They were basically getting frustrated with our online shopping cart and I could sense they were agitated. So I listened to their concerns before reassuring them I was there to help. Now, although I was required to deal with each call in a set time frame, I knew I needed to be patient with this call and spend time helping the customer. Now, after reassuring them, I took my time patiently talking them through the online ordering process using clear step-by-step -step instructions. Once they had managed to place the order, I then made sure they took a note of the delivery tracking number and I also sent them a link by email so they could then track their order with the parcel delivery company. The next day I then decided to call the customer back to make sure they'd received their order, which they had done. They then thanked me for being patient and also making sure they were completely happy with our service. So you'll see that is based on someone who's been in a customer service situation before. Now let's assume you are somebody who's not been in that kind of environment before. The best way to answer that specific question, when have you delivered excellent customer service, is to say, well, even though I've not been in that situation before, I can identify with excellent customer service. And you would then give, an, give them an example of when you received excellent customer service from somebody else. So think of a situation that you were in where someone gave you brilliant customer service and you identified with that. And that's the best way to answer that question when you have no prior experience, but you can identify someone giving you brilliant customer service. Let's take a look at another one for your warehouse operative interview. What would you do if a member of the warehouse operative team was not pulling their weight? Now, most people would say, well, it wouldn't be down to me. It would be down to my supervisor or team leader. That's not the correct way to answer the question. You have to tackle this yourself. So here's my suggested answer. I would basically see it as my responsibility to speak to them first to see what the problem was. Now, whilst working as part of a warehouse team, 
everyone would need to be pulling their weight. And basically, if one member of the team doesn't perform to the required standards, everyone else's workload would increase. And there would also be the chance that orders would not get sent out to the customers, which obviously wouldn't be acceptable. So I would speak to them in private, first of all, to find out if there was anything wrong. If there were any issues, I would support them and then also possibly inform my team leader if I felt it was appropriate. I feel that by tackling the problem head on and making them aware that I knew they were underperforming, they would then hopefully start taking pride in their work again and get back up to speed as soon as possible. So that's a great answer because it's showing that you care about this situation and you also identify that if they don't operate properly, then there's a, an, an issue with customer service being offered. So it's really important you take the responsibility to speak to them. Of course, if, if they don't change, then the team leader would have to be informed. But that shows that you are taking responsibility for that situation. So if you want to download all 25 warehouse operative interview questions, click that link in the top right hand corner and that will take you through to my website here where you can download all 25 warehouse operative interview questions and the answers. I've also put for you four more tips on that page that I think are really important. Read those tips as well because they'll make a difference to your preparation during your interview. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. Thank you very much. Um, those are top scoring answers and they will bode well at your interview. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you all the best for passing your warehouse operative interview. Have a brilliant day.